yellow orange to a brighter white. The color rendering of Guam's streetlights just got a little clearer as the Guam Power Authority recently installed 16 energy efficient streetlights along Marine Corps Drive in East Agania near the Barragata Mayor's Office and the Ironwood Estates. GPA distribution engineer Louis Camacho said with more than 16,000 streetlights on Guam, he hopes the pilot project will reduce as much power as possible and hopefully save consumers money. A lot of the states um, out in the U.S. are trying to go towards induction and LED. You know, we want to reduce our carbon footprint. Um, it's not just the amount of power that's being used at the light, it's also the uh, all the the power losses on the line to get it from generation all the way down to the to the light itself. GPA received fourteen thousand dollars from the demonstration of energy efficient development grant award for an LED and induction streetlight pilot program to study the feasibility of energy efficient lighting for public roads on Guam. GPA spokesman Art Paris says the current technology used costs millions to support and may hopefully help develop a streetlight policy. Also, with the savings reap through efficiency, uh, help reduce the, the, the bill, the billing that DPW has to pay because they are the customer record, and maybe they can consider installing more lights where they're needed around the island. Camacho adds that the biggest challenge GPA faces is creating a lighting standard with technology that is still being developed today. GPA is looking into more in-depth power studies to one day change all of the lights on Guam. As you may know, something that may work on the mainland or elsewhere may, may not be ideal for our, our climb here on, on the island. So this is part of an evaluation period where we can determine which technology is the best. Survey questionnaires are stationed at GPA and GWA customer service locations for customer feedback. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.